Hi guys, so my video is supposed to be 30 minutes long and 30 minutes is a long time for me to talk. I don't do well talking while I'm painting because I tend to hold my breath. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't hold your breath and talk at the same time. So what I thought I'd do instead is to mix my paints in front of you because a lot of people ask me about consistency and pouring mediums and how much water and how much paint. So I figured this would be um, a good way to start my video before we get started on our Pour the Love con uh, collaboration. So let's talk about my colors. My colors were gold, teal, purple, black, and white. Let me grab my white real quick. So I've got here a five ounce cup. And these are the paper cups that I use because I can rinse them out, use them again, and then eventually dispose of them versus plastic cups. So my pouring medium. My pouring medium today is a little different because I'm out of my GAC 800. So my pouring medium is float Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium. And I mix I mixed it today in this jug because it's a little easier to handle than the bigger jug that I use. I've got 60% flood Floetrol in this container and 40% Liquitex pouring medium. So I add my Floetrol, my strained Floetrol up to here, and then I continue the rest of the way with my Liquitex pouring medium. And then I shake it up really good. You got to shake it every single time because these two mediums are different densities and one will sink. So it's really important to give it a good shake. In this little container right here, I have my mix pour because my mix pour helps me to thicken up my paints. I use a lot of fluid paints and fluid paints are um, less dense than medium body and heavy body paints. For example, golden fluid paints right here versus a tube paint, which is a medium body paint. So let's go ahead and mix our colors. I've already put my gold in here. I've probably got, oh, about an ounce of paint in this cup. We're gonna go ahead and mix up our black next. I'm using Artist Flow Black. Oh. Oop, excuse me. We're gonna put about an ounce of paint in that cup as well and our white Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in the white. Same amount of paint in that cup. And then my purple today, I don't use a lot of purple, so I had to dig deep to find this. This is Artist Loft Metallics Purple. Put about an ounce into that cup and you can tell that that's a little bit of a heavier body paint. See how it kind of swirls around at the bottom versus this which is a little bit more flowy. Let's go ahead. Now I don't measure. You get to a point guys, well most of us do, where you don't have to measure. You can kind of just eyeball everything. And then our final color is our teal, and I'm gonna mix up the teal. I'm gonna start with this Chroma Molten Metals, and this is their emerald green. I'm gonna put a little dab of that in there. And I'm gonna to add to that some of the Artist Loft Metallics Cobalt Blue, which is also a medium body paint. Put a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to add some golden turquoise to it, which is my fluid paint, but I'm not going to add it until after I've added my pouring medium because I just need a squirt or two at a time. This is very, very high pigmented paint and you do not need a lot of it. So there we go. Let's move that out of the way. Let's go ahead and give our pouring medium a bit of a shake. And I'm going to add about two and a half to three ounces of pouring medium to each one of these cups. So I always leave enough room to add water to it if needed. 
Different paints get different amounts of water. It depends on the density of the paint that you're using. When I'm using a golden fluid paint, I almost never need to add water to it. That's when sometimes I need to add my mix pour to thicken it up. For example, for a ring pour or a straight pour, my paints are thicker than they are when I'm doing a swipe. Need to wipe my nose, I got a runny nose, guys. Now, what do we do? We stir and we stir and we stir and we stir. Now, I stir all my paints up first and then I check their consistencies to make sure that they're all consistent. At that point, if needed, I add my water or I add my mix pour, depending on whether I want to thicken my paints or I want to thin my paints down because I want them all the same consistency because we're doing a straight pour. And if one paint is heavier than the other paint, it will sink. Did I not add color? Oh, that's my white. <laughs> I'm waiting for the color to come up. That is the color, it's white. Now, this paint is, I can tell already, a little bit denser than the other paints. And you can see it's taking a while for the color to come through. Matter of fact, I don't think I like this color very much. Very lumpy. See how much thicker this paint is? This paint is definitely going to need some water. We might even have to put it aside a little bit to let it dissolve a little bit better. Well, there we go. And let's move on to our teal. Stir and stir and stir. I stir left, I stir right, I stir back, I stir forward. And then I stir it again just before I pour it. Boy, that's a pretty color, guys. Look at that shimmery goodness. That's that metallic cobalt blue. Okay, now I wanna richen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my golden uh, turquoise in the fluid paint. Don't have much in here, guys. And I'm just gonna add A drop or two and we stir and we stir and that to me just richens that paint up oh my goodness be still my heart guys I could mix paint all day I really could it just warms my heart to see these colors pop up in front of me okay there we go now let's check our consistencies there's our gold we want to leave, as sweet Mina Mina says, a mound on a mound on a mound because we are doing a straight pour and I want my, my uh, rings in my straight pour to hold their consistency. If my paints are too thin, too fluid, they move around a little bit too much. So we're looking for a mound on a mound on a mound. And that looks pretty darn good to me. So I'm gonna build off this cup to make sure these cups are all the same consistency. Now the uh, Artist Loft Flow Black is a relatively, it's not a fluid paint, but it's not a heavy body paint. It's not as heavy as a tube paint. So I almost never need to add any water to it. Now let me show that to you. Do you see a mound? on a mound, on a mound. Same with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in white. These are good paints. I use them a lot for my base coat, guys. They're self-leveling. Okay, now, the white, I know that's hard to see, is not as, it's a more fluid paint than the black. So I need to thicken this up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my mix pour, which I keep in a little handy dandy container right here next to me. 
And I'm gonna add, I'll even measure it for you. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of the mix pour. That's about what I add to thicken paints up, a teaspoon of mix pour, or to thin it down, I start with a half to a full teaspoon of water. Let's give that a stir. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare in here. I got a little makeshift set up here. My phone is like taped with masking tape to this stick on this tiny little tripod because I've, I lost the attachment. We need a little bit more thickness in here. So we're gonna give this another teaspoon of the mix. Now you can go as, as far as I think it's one part paint, eight parts mix pouring medium if need be, but that can be expensive. Pouring mediums are a little expensive, so are paints. But you know what? I can tell just by the way this paint feels in my cup that we now have a mound on a mound on a mound. Let's check our purple. Now this paint is thickerer. That's the word of the day, guys, thickerer. Can you see it? See how it's a big old mound on a mound on a big old mound. So we're gonna need to thin this baby down a little bit. I keep my water in this handy dandy little squeeze bottle. It's usually room temperature. Let's go ahead and add a teaspoon of water to this. Now I generally start with a half a teaspoon, but I could tell that this guy was pretty darn thick. Stir left, stir right, stir back, stir forward. And there we have it. A mound on a mound instead of a blob on a blob on a blob. <laughs> and let's check our teal color. Oh my goodness, this is beauteous, guys. Now, this is a little bit thin. It's leaving very little bit of a trace when the paint falls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. So we're adding a little bit of our mix. We're going to start with a teaspoon at a time until we get it right. And this mix pour mixes up very well in there. Okay, guys, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon more to this, and then I think we're gonna be good. So I keep all my little tools close at hand, guys. My popsicle sticks over here on this side are a big stack of different sized paper cups. I always have a small container of my pouring medium, but there's a very large container down below that I keep uh, replenishing this container with. I always have my mix pour close by. I always have my water close by. So it's a convenient little spot here for me to paint. Yep, we are there. A mound on a mound on a mound. So there are our four beauteous paints and we are gonna go ahead and head over to my workspace. We're gonna be using a reused canvas today cause that's my jam for 2021. If that painting doesn't really speak to me, I'm painting over it. What do I do? Generally, I know whether or not I'm going to love something as soon as I'm done pouring it. If I don't, I scrape it, I put the canvas aside, I wait till it totally dries, give it a light sanding, then blow it off with my blow dryer so none of the, the sanding parts are left, wipe it down with a baby wipe, let it dry, and then I reuse it. So there you have it. I hope that helps, guys. Um, I'm excited. It's time to paint and I'm ready, let's do it.